Ladies and gentlemen, this message is not just to Americans. It's to people around the world who want their children to grow up free and not slaves. The entire history of civilization for 6,000 years has been between the people who produce the culture and tiny elites that organize themselves into criminal gangs to suppress the people. We fought a revolution and won it from an empire that had never been defeated in 1776. Over 150 years later, the very same British roundtable groups founded the Council on Foreign Relations in New York City with the stated goal of bringing the United States into a new British empire. Now to be clear, the British don't run this today, but that model, that system, the corporations and combines, the robber barons that grew out of it are establishing a planetary government. You notice the Pope's calling for world government and carbon taxes right now. You notice that's being suddenly admitted to all over the news after decades of denial. We've now hit the point of it emerging. The Trans-Pacific Partnership passed yesterday. Now, there's still a chance to beat it, but the fact that Congress would give the president dictatorial power to agree to whatever these foreign secretive bodies have set up is truly unprecedented. And here's the bad news. Trade Promotion Authority, once it's been handed to a president before briefly, the Senate and the House have never voted it down. And it allows a rubber stamp in the next 60 days to sign on to whatever treaty that will remain secret until it's passed is. Notice that despite the fact TPP was passed yesterday, we still can't see it. But all the Republican and Democratic senators that are for it, the traitors, true traitors, kept saying you can read it after we pass it. But they mean after we've signed onto the treaty. And the word is most of it won't even be released then. The three sections we've seen are draconian, Anthony Gucciardi, David Knight, and the rest of our crew have been breaking that down today here on the radio. This is one of the most devastating blows against our freedom ever, and it shows that we have a Congress that is bought and paid for. I salute the Democrats who were the largest group against it. They're insane on many fronts, but uh, handing the president total dictatorial power to a secret treaty, a lot of them got was a fraud. And their constituents know what a screw job NAFTA and GATT was entering us into this system to begin with. The Tea Party fought it as well. How about we come together and save this country and not let them divide and conquer us with these distractions about rebel flags? My God, people, we're not being conquered by the Confederacy. We're being conquered by the globalists, and they're admitting the whole thing. Continue the fight. It's uphill at this point. But here's the good news. Even if they're able to ratify this and ram it through, finally, the secret takeover, even if they're able to do that, now they have to implement it over the years. England never even knew they were brought into the EU secretly in the late 80s, early 90s, in two different phases of the Maastricht Treaty. Now they know about it and are moving to pull out. So the beginning of the end of world government is when they try to actually set it up and don't rule from the shadows and start installing their technocrats in power everywhere. Then people go, wait a minute, the conspiracy theorists for 30, 40 years fighting this, they were, they were right. We weren't conspiracy theorists. We went and read the Treaty of Rome, the Maastricht Treaty. We, we interviewed the top experts, the members of parliament. I've traveled to England, traveled to Europe. I mean, Ron Paul's warned. Now we've got Senator Sessions on the floor a few days ago saying this is world government. They're merging the North American Union, the Asian Union, and the EU together. And all of it's done by stealth. It's not trade, it's a takeover. They want to fool Democrats by saying, ooh, Obama had a victory, ooh, you had a victory. Obama's legacy, this isn't about Obama, he's a puppet, the trendy to help shove it through. And Democrats aren't buying it, that's the good news. Republicans, look at those blue bloods like Boehner and others. They are the scum of the earth. I mean, this is true treason. America has already been taken over by the private fellow reserve, but now they're transferring what was left of the power to their secretive boards. All right, that's it for this update. I'll be filing other updates at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. If we the people stand up and take action, we're unstoppable. You, the viewers, the listeners, have the power. You can change this. We've got to change the debate over from the uh, tranny operations and the rebel flag distractions and from gay marriage and stuff like this to the big issue that we're being conquered by globalists that are devastatingly cold-blooded, and any country they get a hold of, they loot. They will 
debase us. They will bring us down like Greece and others. That's how they control us, by making us poor. They admit it. This is their philosophy. We've watched them do this in countless countries. We got the IMF and World Bank documents in 2002 where they admitted the whole plan and said the West was yet uh, was next. I've had Greg Pallast on, BBC reporter, investigative journalist, and he's interviewed one of the founders of the Euro who admitted it was designed to implode nation states, suck them dry. This is economic conquest. This will hurt you and your family. If you thought NAFTA and GATT cut your wages and screwed the country up, that was just the beginning. The people are now waking up. The battle is just starting. And they barely were able to ram this through. So they're not invincible. They want you to think all is lost. You can't defeat them. That's a fraud. What they're doing is so over the top that they either win because they're so bold or they fail because they're so bold. Will their confidence game go on forever? Will the United States of America and the, and the UK, England, Germany, all these great nations, sovereign nations that fought huge wars with each other, now just give in to a bunch of scum bankers who create a bunch of counterfeit derivatives? This is the world being conquered by people worse than Bernie Madoff, worse than Ken Lay. It was Ken Lay with carbon taxes. I mean, this is a group of scum. Are we really ruled by the hypocrite, Al Gore? Are we really ruled by frauds like Michael Moore with his six bodyguards with guns, but you can't have them? Are we really going to be under this new royalty and submit to their tyranny? The decision is up to you. But the battle against TPP now goes into the next phase. It's uphill. But within that fight, we will expose it even more. And then suddenly it'll be downhill. The more we fight, the stronger we get. It's like muscles. It's a long struggle. History shows that, but we're in the right and we cannot be defeated. I will stand right beside you on the front lines. The front lines begin at Infowars.com.